Um, could you give like a little like breakdown of Remark for dummies? I mean, Remark is, is a set of, uh, Remark is the most advanced NFT standard in the world. That's it. Um, and if, you, if we go deeper, that's, it's a set of um, five elementary NFT Legos that when you put them together, you can create any system of any complexity. And if your user interface wallet or whatever you have, NFT marketplace supports those really basic five Legos, it automatically supports anything you can build on top of those Legos. So any combination permutation of those Legos, will, it will support, which means that this, like supporting this gives you the distinct advantage that in traditional NFTs right now, if you want to build anything that goes beyond just a simple JPEG, you have to build a custom contract, then a custom UI around that contract, and then your team probably has to maintain that. Um, and so if your team gets hit by a bus, the project dies. But if uh, you build it with these, these Legos in mind, then any project, any marketplace, any UI that supports them will automatically support your project. And because these Legos are so powerful, uh, you can go really custom with this. So you don't have to write custom. Like if you if you make a custom NFT project today on Ethereum, OpenSea is not gonna support that custom functionality because it is it would be economical suicide for them. Um, they, have, they have problems keeping their website online um, as it is with simple JPEGs. They would completely implode if they tried to support anything more advanced than that. And so um, it also they they don't they also don't have a way to kind of figure out what's worth supporting. Like why would we support this project versus this other project? But if you have like support for the 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 full uh, like this the spectrum of these Legos, then you support anything that people build on top of them. And so you don't have to bother with custom support for custom projects because you can you already support all of these custom variations that that are possible. And by doing this, we actually move the standard forward quite a bit. Um, because we'll let you go wild with, with NFTs and, and stop thinking of them as JPEGs and instead really build NFT applications and an NFT operating systems, basically, that are automatically supported by all of these uh, different, different uh, user interfaces. So in a nutshell, it's just a set of really um, useful standards that you can use to take NFTs to the next level. Thank you. You must be getting like really tired of that question at this point. Hey? <laughs> well, like, again, we have sure, to. <laughs> in a way, in a way, but every time I kind of, I kind of, I, I, I polish it a little bit every time. So it, it, it's still useful. It's still useful. So you like it. You like it. You're like, oh, I hope he asks me. Like,